welcome to the moon in Libra. Opposites are attracting, uniting. So we can see the whole shape shift and transform. Continue on our expansions. All right, let's see what's going down for uh, the energy of Libra. Okay. Well, we have the Five of Swords and the moon's hanging out with us today. No, I did not take her from the sky. Everybody would be too lonely without her. Three of Wands, you're manifesting. You're manifesting, you're calling your ships in. You're putting down your burdens. I can feel that you're learning how to put down your burdens and some of you have just put them down. Now you're ready to manifest, you're calling in your ships. And they're connected to your expansions, they're connected to the sun. And here's forward movement. This is energy actually expanding with through spirit. Something is coming to a, into alignment and it's connected to the Ace of Coins and what you've unearthed. We know we've been doing shadow work. The super moon has been illuminating our shadow selves and we've been going within, below, to unearth pieces of our light. And this is connected to that. And look at how much strength you've gained through doing this. This is like a whole new person, just earthed out of the dirt. Like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to expand. And it's through ending conflict. It's like you're learning to put down the swords and just use the sword of clarity, the sword of the light which is connected to you, but you're gonna use it now to find balance. You're not gonna be so extreme with this sword or create conflict or engage in conflict. You're just gonna use the sword to create peace, love, harmony, through compassion. And there's a truth that's being told here and it's connected to healing. The energy of the star, this is chakra healing from the heavens to the earth through us. And there's alchemy here. We know we've been discussing the alchemy of the cups, twin flame alchemy. And that's what's happening here. And what it's doing is it's literally opening a whole new door. And we know we've been shutting doors, shutting doors to the our past, what's lower vibrational in order to open new ones. And here's the door opening because you st created stability of the light because you ended conflict. You ended conflict through you. It's like, I feel like you softened that inner warrior within you. And it's like you understand what a, a warrior of the earth means. It's, it's very, it's like you had the humble charge. And it's not, you know, it's not going full guns blazing, creating war and conflict, fighting people. It's using those karmic scales in order to balance, to see the light and dark in every situation, to see the flip side of the coin, but then to do what's right, just and fair. And it's using some other energies in order to, to get to where we're going. You know, sometimes we need to add this energy and apply it to this space. We need to get, use this energy and apply it to this space because at the end of the day, we're creating patterns, sequences, frequencies in order to create our harmonics and shift things. The Great Symphony, and a lot of this, I can feel is connected to harmonizing with others and how that process works for you. Yeah, and there's, there's an ending. There's an ending to begin again. That's how you freed up this energy with the Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups through sorrow. This is where you just, you end it, you let it go. It was experienced in order to create with, you've seen through your illusions. We know that the Ten of Swords is that, saying goodbye to our life's debts. We've balanced our karmic scales. We're on the way to the North Node. But first we have to put down our burdens. 
and our burdens allow us to reconnect and we just go forth with two wands in order to manifest and those two wands allow change and that's connected to our great revolutions and from the two we're going to go to the three in order to begin manifesting calling in our ships through the sun to expand with as we raise our vibration like that ship is literally coming forth through the sky it's not even in the water and look there you are there's your energy right there authentic tune knight of swords it's time you're creating with the energy of the zodiac you know we're closing out the zodiac year and we're about to begin again in the airy season and there's the lovers you've created love connection wholeness opposites unite opposites attract and it was from saying goodbye to the devil energies this is what you walked away from when you freed yourself from the cage. And that's how you got here to begin with. Just put some clothes on now, okay? Sorry, I love humor. I love humor. Sometimes the Libras in my life don't necessarily like that. But, you know, humor is a vibration. We must create with it. All right. Now, let's see what's being activated. What is being activated here? this card right here follow me come this is your invitation to enter the realm of fairy you're being called to walk away from what's logical and get lost in the magic the wonder your intuition creation and that's in order to restore restore balance and to help you literally find the key. This is going to help you activate the child energy. Because we're using the hermit energy right now in order to expand. And we're going to use the hermit energy because the full moon was in Virgo. So we'll use that energy in order to bring within us and expand with it. And you are connecting with other realms and to, or, to raise your vibration to, the, <laughs> to this, to this ship. As I said, it's not coming in the water, it's coming through the sky. All right, let's get a message. The path of light. The path of light. Life places the perfect people and situations on my path to help me advance on my journey of inner growth. I possess the courage I need to progress. Despite any obstacles I might meet, I study my experiences, seeking the wisdom they have to offer. In this way, I improve from day to day. Today I choose to grow in faith and I am confident that at the end of my road, I will join the light. And you're crossing the bridge. You're crossing the bridge from this space to this space. Because you found your light. Oh. And my little light, my little man just walked into the room, guys. Yes, you're finding your light. You're not disconnected anymore. You're not hanging out with the devil in the shadows. You're, you're hanging out with love, with all those flames. Okay, let's get a message here from the Kuan Yin Oracle. Enter the Jade Temple. Kuan Yin, in her temple of peaceful jade, causes all conflict to elevate to higher peaceful resolution a resolution and healing of any situation that is concerning you is already underway you are being asked to begin to feel the relief of that resolution now so you can have more readily melts into the divine solution and blessing of peace from beloved Kuan Yin 
And that's what you're you're cultivating peace with the sword. And it's going from meditation with this full moon in Virgo that we just had, the super moon. And the connection to the new moon in Aries that we are about to have on the 23rd. That's how you're you're raising your vibes. Connecting through these energies. Turquoise Lotus Mother. An old pattern is finally ending. You are to be lifted from your struggle. Fred. Okay. An old pattern is finally ending. You are to be lifted from your struggle, freed from a weight of the past. You have learned all you need to learn and now is a time for relief, release, divine protection, and the happiness of a healed heart and a peaceful soul. And that's what you're doing here, healing. I want to thank you for joining me. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.